Hi class, welcome to week two of U.S. History 1302. This week you're going to be talking about industrialization uh, and urbanization in America as well as the American Empire where you will read about Theodore Roosevelt, uh, American imperialism, as well as immigration. Theodore, sorry we're in a airplanes, the airport's right over there. Um, Theodore Roosevelt was president from 1901 to 1909, and I'm currently standing in or on uh, Theodore Roosevelt Island, which is in the middle of the Potomac. This is essentially his monument here in DC. Um, is this island that was donated and uh, named for him? You can't take any cars over here or any bicycles. There's a little footbridge that you have to, to cross over. Um, but it's an 88.5 acre park that has foot trails running through it along with his monument here. In the center you can see him behind me. Let me move over for you to, to see him. He's pretty big. And then along with his statue we have four different plaques that I will post pictures of so you can see a little bit closer. But you have one uh, over here that says nature, manhood, and then youth, and the state. And each plaque is engraved with quotes from Theodore Roosevelt. But Roosevelt Island, uh, like I said, is an 88.5 acre park in the middle of the Potomac River, accessible only by footbridge. Roosevelt, uh, as you'll read, was known for his efforts in conservation. He was really big into nature. Um, he established over 150 national forests, four game preserves, five national parks, and 18 national monuments. Total, he protected over 230 million acres of American land while he was president, which really uh, pushed the effort to create more national parks and to preserve more of the natural beauty of America. Sorry, right, here comes another plane. Reagan Airport is uh, very close to here, so there are constantly plane, planes flying over over the island and over the river. Um, so while Roosevelt was a big conservationist, he was also a really big hunter. Uh, he hunted a lot. Uh, he was also a big game hunter, hunting big game like uh, rhinos and such. You can Google that, I'm sure you'll be able to quickly find some pictures of him with some big game. and. It's interesting because in today's society, a conservationist and someone that's really into nature and a big game hunter, those are two characteristics or qualities that don't really overlap a lot. So you can kind of see how the mind, uh, mindset has shifted when it comes to conservation in today's society. Uh, so this is a, just a quick tour of Roosevelt Island. Um, and that'll be, that'll be it for, for this. Uh, this week, you will have your weekly discussion and response that you will need to submit along with your weekly quiz. Uh, remember, you do have to do the BioSig verification to get access to that quiz. Um, and then you will also need to continue work on your essay. You should have your topic chosen by now. Remember, you have the uh, suggested topics and questions to kind of help you pick your topic if you're having trouble with that please email me and I will help you but you should be starting your research and um, start writing maybe your outline and your first draft for that also you need to be working on your journals if you do uh, two to three entries per week you will be able to uh, submit your journal when it's due and you won't have have that weight of that assignment on you so uh, start on that. Again, your journals can cover any topic from the reading. It can also cover anything from these videos or any outside research that you have to any outside research that you do uh, over the time periods that are laid out in the requirements. But I hope you guys have a great week. Again, please reach out to me if you have any questions or concerns. I am here to help. Bye.